Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a real quick guides type pattern, um, competition nymph type pattern, Euro nymph, whatever you want to call it. This is basically a Frenchie meets a hare's ear. Nothing new, it's not something we've invented. The materials that we use are a little bit unique. So we'd welcome you to check those materials out as you'll see in the link below in the comments. So if you find any value, we want to make sure and invite you to like the video, leave us a comment, hit subscribe, and then the bell to receive future notification if you find any value. This helps us beat the algorithms, helps us get our content and stuff out into the community, and we really appreciate the support. So thank you for your time, and we look forward to tying with you again, and enjoy the Euro-style hair's ear nymph. Have a wonderful evening. The hook we're going to use for this pattern is the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML501. This is the standard forged jig hook. The bead I'm using, I'm tying on a size 14. The bead that I'm using is a 3.0 millimeter slotted copper tungsten from Moonlit as well. The thread is Semperfly classic waxed 12 aught floral orange I like it because it lays nice and flat we're gonna start that right behind the bead and we're gonna lay a nice good foundation for this pattern all the way back to the bend of the hook and then I'm gonna take some CDL from Whiting Farms in a ginger color I'll change different colors to match the different patterns that I'm tying, but I want to ginger to match some of the copper tones in this. I'm going to measure it out, and I want to tie this so that it's about roughly the hook shank in length, but I'm going to have it be just a little bit shorter. You can see that's a little too long, so I'm going to pull that in. Always make sure when you tie it in, it's long so you can shorten it because you can't lengthen it once it's too short. I'll go and trim that CDL out right there behind the bead. Finish securing that down. For the rib on this, you can use a copper wire, but I'm going to use copper tinsel from Semperfly in the 169th size and I'm just going to wrap that right here behind that bead. I'm going to do it right on the top of the hook shank. I'm going to wrap that all the way back to the tail again. Just before I get there I want two wraps underneath that tail just to help prop it up nice and good. Now I'll set that off to the side. The dubbing wax that I'm using is the gunpowder dubbing wax. And I'm just going to take that wax and rub it, kind of dig it in just a little bit on my thread here. That's going to give me a good little bit of wax on there. Now we'll take a small amount of club dub by Snake River Fly in the Gray Blaze. And I've got a nice pinch here. I'm not going to put that all on at once. Small, thin applications. Little bits at a time. And I'm just going to twist that onto my thread so that I have a nice little dubbing rope here. I'll wrap that forward just a little bit and then rearward to that point there. We want to create a nice body taper profile to this fly. So you see I wrap all the way forward. Now I'm going to wrap rearward almost three quarters of the way. I'm going to put just a small amount on here just so that I can finish creating that thorax and taper there. And 
Now I'm going to take my tinsel and it's pretty buggy, it's pretty got some fibers there and I'm just going to wrap this rib tinsel right up into the bottom there with open spiral wraps secure it down trim that out I can take and trim some of these fibers off just a little bit now I'm going to take and create a little bit of a hot spot collar and I'm using the 12 aught really because I just want a thin collar on this I don't want it to be too big now we'll take and whip finish trim that out I'm going to take my dubbing brush and I just want to brush this out just so that I've got those fibers make it real buggy I mean this is a simple pattern think of it you know just like we mentioned as a Frenchie meets a hair's ear to finish this off though I do want to take a little bit of UV glue so I'm going to take my Semperfly no tack glue and I'm just doing a quick tie here so normally I put this in a little cup so that I know I'm using some and I don't have to keep doing this every time I pull it out but I'm going to put it on my little bodkin here and I'm going to secure that down right there over my thread that's going to secure my knot and again as I'm doing this I want to make sure that I invite you to make sure and like the video leave us a comment hit the subscribe button and bell to receive future notification if you get any value out of our video at all this helps us out a great deal as we work to put out good quality content into the community and now I'm just going to kind of again I got some fuzzes little long fibers I want to trim them out just a little bit make sure it's nice and clean buggy but not like too long a fiber and here you have the hair's ear euro nymph very similar to tying like a Frenchie pattern real simple real fast and quick thank you for watching tonight we appreciate your support and you have a wonderful evening.